Mozambique, Southeast Africa, the Indian Ocean. Tropical breezes, beautiful beaches, cocktails, and landmines. A Popo is an organization that deals with this problem using highly trained and adaptive animals. Rats. Started in Belgium in 1997, a Popo was founded to source alternative methods of mine detection. Bubonic plague, pestilence, and disease are all forgiven due to their cuddly features and their highly developed sense of smell. They can, in fact, detect up to 17 different types of explosive. These amazing creatures search areas infected and riddled with landmines, clearing them for, well, literally peanuts. Very selective in their in their partner choice, and okay. um, and that can go very well and very wrong. Handlers from Mozambique and neighboring countries train the rats. One of the main advantages of rats is that they work solely for food, unlike dogs that need to stay with one particular master. There's mines buried here, and some uh, in in sections that are that are um, that are cordoned off. You see that there's, there's little uh, there's little wooden wooden pegs in, on the on the corners. And these boxes are uh, 10 by 10. Uh, and per box of 100 square meters, there will be one, two, or no, three or no mines there. The, during the week, the rats only get the food that they work for, that they, that they deserve. Um, in the weekend, the rats get as much to eat as they want. A misconception is that the rats are kamikaze rats, designed to detonate the mines. However, their small body weight makes it highly unlikely that this will happen. The argument is, why not work with the manual, uh, with the manual detector in the whole area? And that is, and, and, and that is, and that is mainly because. Um, well, metal detectors will give a signal on every piece of metal that they that, that's in the ground. Bullets, cartridges, bottle caps, uh, mine fragments. So, to give you an example, in in uh, in Vilanculis we worked uh, we worked in a minefield there together with ADP, and they found there was something like uh, 600, 600 and some mines were found there, and for all these mines. Uh, 26,000 pieces of metal had to, more than 26,000 pieces of metal had to be uh, evaluated. It was an area that had seen some combat before, so it was quite, quite heavily contaminated with, uh, with, with shrapnel. And that, of course, slows down the process of the manual deminer has to, has to follow up every signal, you know, as if it could be a mine, right? 25 rats are licensed. Licensed? Yeah. They passed the training program. They passed the training program not only, but they've also passed the, the, the government test. Um, as, as these rats are, are uh, deployed as a, as a mine detection technology, mm. they have to live up to the standards that are, um, that are set internationally. Now, you see that to George's left side, there's a little wooden peg there with uh, the number 5 on it. And, and that peg actually indicates that 5 meters in front of this, in front of it, uh, that's where there is a mine buried. Uh, the rat is going to scratch in this, in, 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 uh, in the place at five meters in front of this peg, and give a give an indication as to you know uh, as to the presence of the mine. And it's on top of the dam. There you go. So then the trainer clicks. Mm -hmm. See, so wants to scratch some more. And when the trainer clicks, it's actually his way to communicate with the rat, okay, you've done something right, and you can come here now and get a food eat. And off he goes, gets his food. So how much does it cost to train each of these rats? Well, it's hard to say, of course, because <clears throat> The, the only rats that you see here are, are rats that are that have that have made it successfully through the training program. Mm -hmm. Not all rats pass. Uh, mm -hmm. Most of them do. We have a, we have a much higher uh, success rate than than with the mining dogs. Also, the training is faster. Um, 
but in general, like taking everything into account, the, the, the salaries of the trainers, the, the infrastructure in, in Tanzania, the whole the whole breeding and, and, and training program, we sort of calculate a cost of around five thousand dollars per rat that we that we use in the in the mine field. The dog costs like between twenty five to thirty thousand. What's this rat's name? This guy? Lucky. Lucky. Lucky seems to be a bit lazy this morning. So has this rat had less training than the one you were using there? Because that one was just going backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Mm -hmm. But this one isn't. Why, why is that? Mm, normally, the rats, ne? the they're not all of the, they, don't, they don't have all of the same behavior. This mm. one, for example, is a little bit lazy. Mm. But uh, after some time, after some time, it will be fit. Okay. Monday morning syndrome. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, for example, we have our, our boss, Mr. Frank, used to say, "Monday is not good day." <laughs> <laughs> For humans too. <laughs> Has he found one? Yes. Yes. Lucky is living up to his name today. At the end of a long day, the rats head home and take a well-deserved rest. There are 25 registered rats to date that have passed certified tests and received their degrees in mine detection.